Learning to program can be a rewarding and fulfilling experience. But there are many misconceptions that can prevent people from pursuing this skill. In this video, we will debunk some of the most common myths about learning to program and discuss the personal qualities that novice programmers should cultivate to succeed. Programming requires a specific mindset and approach to learning. And by cultivating these qualities, you can improve your chance of becoming a successful programmer. So whether you are just starting out or have been programming for a while, keep watching to learn more about what it takes to succeed in the world of programming. One of the most common misconceptions about programming is that it's only for geniuses. As much as I would like to call myself a genius, it is sadly not the case. The idea that you need to be a genius to be good at coding is far from the truth. Programming is a skill that anyone can learn, just like any other skill. You don't need to be a genius or have a high IQ to learn to program. All you need is the right mindset, dedication, and practice. There are some beliefs that in order to be successful in computer science, you need to possess the programming gene or geek gene. This is simply not true. And despite half a century of research trying to predict who can succeed in an introductory programming course, no reliable predictor could be found. This is simply a myth that is cultivated in social environment and propagated via popular culture and media, such as sitcoms and movies. The myth that women cannot do programming is a damaging and false stereotype. Throughout history, there have been many attempts to explain the underrepresentation of women in science and technology field, perpetuating untruth about women's abilities. For example, in the 19th century, there was a belief that exposure to scientific education would damage women's biology. In the 20th century, Explanation focused on supposed deficit in specific skill sets required for science, such as special cognition. However, there is increasingly strong evidence that females often outperform males in many spheres of science, disproving the myth that women lack the cognitive capacity to do science. In addition, women have played an essential role in the history of programming. Some of the most important women in programming history include Ada Lovelace, who is often called the world's first computer programmer, before physical computer even existed. And Grace Hopper, who was one of the first person to design a compiler for a programming language. Furthermore, Grace Hopper was the first to devise the theory of machine-independent programming languages. Another common misconception about programming is that it's all about maths. While some aspects of programming involve maths, you don't need to be a maths expert to learn to program. Programming is more about problem solving and logic than it is about maths. As long as you have a basic understanding of maths concept, you can learn to program. However, if you are interested in pursuing a career in artificial intelligence or cryptography, you will need a solid foundation in advanced mathematics concept. Some people believe that programming is a solitary activity that requires working alone for long hours in a basement. While programming can be done alone, it's not always the case. Many programming projects require collaboration with other programmers, designers, and stakeholders. As a programmer, you need to be able to work effectively in a team and communicate UID effectively. Finally, some people think that programming is a boring and monotonous task. However, programming can be fun and exciting. As a programmer, you get to create things that can solve real-world problems, and that can be a rewarding experience. Additionally, programming can be a creative endeavor, and you can use your creativity to come up with innovative solutions to complex problems. Moreover, computer science is omnipresent in fields such as medicine, chemistry, and space exploration, as well as arts like music and movies. You probably have seen videos stating that you can learn programming in a day or even a few hours. Let me be clear, this is false advertising. 
In a similar way, I could tell you that you will paint like an artist by showing you a video on how to paint by numbers. I've tried and I can assure you I am no Leonardo da Vinci. Introductory programming courses are known to be particularly challenging, with a third of the students in the US either failing the course or dropping out. Having said that, learning basic elements of programming in a month is certainly possible, but it depends on the amount of time and effort you are willing to invest, on the complexity of the programming concept and languages you want to learn. You need to be committed to learning and have a structured learning plan in place. Consistent practice, changing yourself with coding exercise and project, and seeking feedback from others can help you accelerate your progress and solidify your understanding of programming concepts. One of the strongest indicators of success in programming courses in higher education is keeping up with the weekly work, especially at the start of a module. So in a few words, try not to fall behind. If you are completely new to programming, it may take several weeks or even months to get comfortable with basic programming concepts, such as variables, data types, conditional, loop, function, and object-oriented programming, among others. It's essential to understand these fundamental concepts before moving on to more advanced topics and applying them to real-world problems. It's important to keep in mind that programming is a vast and complex field, and becoming a proficient programmer takes years. However, with dedication and persistence, you can develop the skill and knowledge necessary to become a successful programmer. In addition to debunking common misconceptions about learning to program, it's important to talk about the personal qualities that a novice programmer should cultivate. Programming requires a certain mindset and approach to learning that can help you become a successful programmer. Here are some personal qualities that you should consider cultivating as a novice programmer. Learning to code can be a frustrating and challenging experience. As a novice programmer, it's important to cultivate perseverance and not give up in the face of difficulties. You need to keep trying, practicing, on learning from your mistakes. Curiosity is essential for learning new programming concepts and technologies. As a novice programmer, cultivate your curiosity by exploring new programming languages, frameworks, and tools. Be open to try new things and don't be afraid to experiment and fail. Attention to detail is critical for writing clean, efficient, and bug-free code. As a novice programmer, pay attention to small details like syntax, indentation and naming convention. Make sure to review your code and debug it thoroughly. Programming is a process that requires patience. As a novice programmer, take your time to learn programming concepts thoroughly. Practice regularly and be patient with yourself when you encounter challenges. Critical thinking is essential for solving programming problems. As a novice programmer, Cultivate your critical thinking skills by breaking down problems into smaller components and thinking through the logics of your code. Learn to think creatively and come up with innovative solutions. As a novice programmer, you may encounter problems that you don't know how to solve. Resourcefulness is key in this situation, as you can use online resources such as forum, documentation, and tutorial to help you find solutions. Be open to learning from others and ask for help when needed. Programming involves continuous learning and adapting to new technologies and methodologies. As a novice programmer, cultivate an open-minded attitude towards new ideas and approaches. Don't be afraid to challenge your own assumption and explore new ways of solving problems. Good communication skills are essential for working with other programmers, clients, and stakeholders. As a novice programmer, work on developing your communication skills to effectively convey your ideas and understand the need of others. Learn to collaborate effectively and work as part of a team. Programming requires discipline and effective time management. As a novice programmer, cultivate time management skills by creating a schedule, setting realistic goals, and focusing 
on most important tasks first. Make sure to prioritize your work and stay organized. In conclusion, learning to program is not as difficult as many people may think. And with the right mindset, dedication and practice, anyone can acquire this valuable skill. We hope that by debunking common misconceptions and highlighting the personal qualities that novice programmers should cultivate, we have provided you with valuable insight that will help you succeed in your programming journey. Remember to be patient, curious and open-minded and to cultivate essential qualities like perseverance, attention to details, critical thinking and effective communication. Thank you for watching and I wish you the best of luck on your programming journey.